General Morris, when you're moving in with the Let's EU bombers in T minus 30 seconds. Over. Yeah. Just some more ammo. Okay, I need you to go to King Bernard and send the message so that we can plant the EU bomber plants, alright? Please. Any wounded? Um, the body count is approximately, from the looks of it, 19,000 on their side, and only 2,000 from our side. So what should we do, King Bernard? Find Tico, buddy, and destroy him! Right now! Should I um, retreat the data from the You heard what I said! Find Tico, buddy! No, sir, so I'm, I'm, I'm not finding Tico Bunny's, Tico Bunny's, uh, Tico Bunny around. You trying to disrespect Tico me, General Bunny. Morris? No, sir, I don't mean to disrespect or anything like that. I just mean that I can't find Tico Bunny at the current moment. So, uh, me and my men will, will look around and we will make sure we arrest Tico Bunny. All right, General, keep your eyes peeled, all right? Look around. Wait, 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 keep Bernard King Joshua before you guys, before you guys leave up, please. Can I ask you a question? Why are we doing this? What do you mean, why are we doing this? I thought that Chico Bunny left this a long, long time ago. Yes, yeah, so? You know, I, I don't understand. It just seems as though we are heading into a very serious mission with little to no one. Stop your whining, you just get the job done! I'll look around and I'll see if there's any more data. Until then, I think. Alright, stay focused, okay? You watch my six, I'll watch your five. Take cover. Check the, check the left side, check the front, right side. I'll check the front side with the rest. Yes, sir! All clear, General Morris! All clear, General Morris! I think we got everyone with the EU bombers! All clear, General Morris! The coast seems to be clear. We'll keep checking, alright? We don't know where Tico Bunny can be at. He can be anywhere. Alright, stay focused, okay? 
You watch my six, I'll watch your five. You can't find him? Well, keep looking, you know? Look through the cabinets, look through maybe the attic or something, you know? We may have bombed the place, but we sure as heck cannot reach everywhere, okay? So keep checking the hot spots and the cold spots. Make sure, keep your eyes peeled, all right? We cannot afford more casualties. Yes, sir! And make sure you bring Tinker Bunny arrested. Thank you. I'll look around here. Tinker Bunny is not around here, General Morris. Stand back. Good morning, you sickle bunny. No. I'll be ready to find you. Oh, also my cousins. their friends and put them all to and put my friends all together with their with their friends and then they will be and then we will be all destructible and destruct destructible and you will never ever get us now I'll get everything Get away with this, you hear me? I will not 
Qui est parti pour panier. Ah 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 You're under arrest. You're under arrest for conspiracy against you. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, General Morris. Pistol my blood. King Joshua, are you here? Sorry, Hello, General Morris. Great news, Your Highness. What's the great news? We have Tinkle Bunny restrained Thank over you here. Thank you so much. All right, I'll be right there. Mm -mm -mm. Take, him, take him to the Love Factory, where he will never be seen as his cousin will never find him. And his family and his friends. You hear me, Joe Morris? You heard King Joshua said, right? I told you that I would get you, Tinker Bunny. Like I said, I have waited years for this very moment. And I finally got you. I have finally got you. By the way, you little pitiful scum. I got your water. Here, take it. Just to let you know that we can stay here and we're gonna suffer in jail big time too. After all you, after all you did against Kingdom Napoli and Kingdom Zeppelin. Trouble now, and if I were you, I would call whichever cousins you were talking about, whichever, whichever has the ability to do what kind of evil you've ever done, Tinkle Bunny. I would call them and I would say, Do not try to do that. The shots on me. No! You got whiskey last time! Whoever's making that noise, stop it! Yeah, that's wise of you to just stay there and be quiet. Alright? Hey, King Bernard and King Joshua, good news. Hey, what's that old tune they used to sing in the back? Well, just make a noise, be quiet, or else you're next. Yes, sir. Sorry about that, King Bernard. So I got Tinker Bunny over there. What should I do? Shave all his feathers and send him to outer space. Punish him. Yes, Your Highness. I'll make sure. 
sure Good. Okay. Do you know what King Bernard just told me? He wants to be You? You. I know. Your legs are restrained. Your limbs are restrained. Even your eyeballs are restrained. You are physically, mentally, spiritually, and even socially restrained, and there's nothing you can do about it. You will not escape from this prison again. Stay there for a long time. Because once we're done, we will shake all your feathers and we will turn you into And don't you think about trying to escape because we will make the situation worse than it is. Do you hear me? And I mean it. Joshua. Um, I mean, King Bernard and King Joshua, we have secured Tinkle Bunny and the rest of his henchmen. Fortunately, there are no more casualties. There are no injured, but we need a lot in the hospital. So, so then, uh, yeah. Joshua, wake up. It's time for your lunch. Oh, thank you. Yeah, King Joshua, it's time for your lunch right now. With who? With King Bernard. Oh. So don't be late, King Joshua. This is important. Okay. I'll be right there. I need my crown. How are you today, sir? Good. Squire, any updates on Tinkerbell? Yeah, he's in he's in custody now. General Morse gave me the updates. Does he does he have any cousins? Uh, not that I know of. Did you tell did you tell General Morse? Did he have any I cannot afford to have any any more enemies. I don't know of any other enemies besides Tinkle Bunny. And if I did, I would tell you your highness. Okay, then let's proceed. Quite this way, your highness. How was your beauty sleep, your highness? Not good at all. Oh, 
Who would that be, Your Highness? Give me some water. Can someone give me some water? Can someone give me some water? Here you go, Your Highness. That was King Bernard. Where is King Bernard? Where is King Bernard? Where is King Bernard? I'm over here, friend. King Joshua. Did your squire not tell you about this? Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, he told me. I remember. I remember. It's. What is the name in. What's the, what's the first one powerful? Hmm? What's the first one that is powerful? What are you talking about, Joshua? What's the first. What's. Tinker Buddy's first. For cousins. Mm. I'm not quite sure. You know, I'm aware that Tinker Bunny does have a cousin, but I'm not quite sure what his cousin's name would be. Yes, Tinker Bunny. Yes, Tinker He's the powerful Tinker Bunny ever. I know. This one that makes me. His name is Tinker Bunny. Oh, Tinker oh, That was just a picture. That was Tinker Bunny Johnny. You know? Really? Yeah. You, you didn't you know who's powerful, but like, Tinker Bunny ESC. Yes. Anyone with a cheek bunny
whichever cost, even if it means going through another war, we must stop any enemies that we have and any problems in this kingdom or any kingdoms, especially my kingdom. Especially my kingdom. Yes. I said your kingdom too. I would never, you know, try to say that. I wouldn't protect your kingdom too. We're friends. So, anything else interesting? How's your production on mac and cheese going? Mac and cheese? Yes. That's really good. Mac and cheese? On my mac and cheese, my cooker. I'm asking about production, King Joshua. Oh, cooking is doing good. Chef, may I have some? Thank you for the food, Adam. Thank you for the fruits of food. You know, you're quite the interesting fellow, you know? Yeah. Always wearing less, even if it means fighting against enemies. I never find you. What do you mean? You know, it, it, I don't know. I mean, I appreciate that you've always wanted to help me out throughout the fights. Mm -hmm. But it just seems as though... I don't know. I don't know where to put on it. Maybe I've had too much to to drink before coming in today. No, you have not. Yeah, King Joshua, I think I need to use the restroom real quick. to a royal king like me. King Joshua, who is using this toilet? Why is it used? Hey, King Joshua, I was... King Joshua? What in the, what in the world is this? Who in the mighty name of King Napoli has decided to touch my croissant? I knew I could trust King Does he not know this is my only food that I had during lunch? Now I have to call Squire to let him know that I need another croissant because King Selfish Joshua has decided to touch my croissants. I knew I could never trust him. I knew it. I absolutely knew it. Tinkle Bunny Johnny and Tinkle Bunny 
<laughs> they will never know that I was the one who actually was pretending to be. They did. They will. They will not know that that I have their magical knife, my magical wand to tear them whatever I want. <laughs> King Bernard! King Bernard! Yeah, uh, yeah. Squire? Yeah. What? What am I on? You have a visitor! Hmm. No. Who's visiting at this time? The king deserves his beauty now. He's some sense is why you're autographed. Okay, I'll just get up right now. I don't feel so good. I That's nice. The mac and cheese. <sighs> Wait here. Wait here. I think I need to get enough sleep. I had a lot of rum today. A little bit of some martini from that last night party. I just had a little bit of some rum yesterday and some martinis. So Squire, I think you're gonna have to tell the enthusiasts outside that King Bernard is taking his beauty sleep and that they can come at a different time. Okay, Your Highness, I'll tell, I'll tell the, the enthusiasts. The enthusiasts. Mm, I feel so much better. This is the beauty nap that I was talking about. Oh. This is wonderful. <clears throat> All right. What happened this afternoon? What an enthusiast for me today. I need to find where my computer's at. What can it be? No, that's the fan. Aha! Here it is. I need to find out where, what's been going on around this kingdom. That's strange. We have some notifications. Squire, I'm gonna need you to Check out the two notifications we have around this kingdom. Okay, Squire? Is he here? Or General Morris? Whoever hears this message, I need you to check around the kingdom.
Ja. This is upsetting. Technology, don't we? Um, who can that be? Me, Joshua. What's the meaning of this? No, Zach. What the meaning of this? Where's my croissant at? I was trying to eat. You wanna know why? For one, because I'm a king! And two! I was joking myself. I should have told I shouldn't have told you that. But you should have took my croissant. Did you take my croissant? No. I'm sorry. Maybe I was a bit too drunk. I don't know. I'm probably Is it just me? Or is there something fishy around this kingdom? That I should know about? We. We should know about. I feel like there's something nobody's telling me right now. Okay. And I only I only have the right to speak right now, King Joshua. Now at our lunch earlier today. Now, earlier today, even though I was drunk and tipsy a little bit from last night, I remember this because when I came out, I couldn't find you. Now, it's good that you left a bit early. Maybe you had some important business to attend to. However, Microsoft is missing. And I know that you didn't eat Microsoft. So I need answers on who did such a thing to King Bernard. Stop being so big, King Bernard. I don't know who would do such a thing. You do not even know? Not even the slightest clue of who would do such a thing? You don't even know? Not even the slightest clue? Why do you not trust me? I'm gonna ask you again. Let me get this straight. I went to the bathroom. For my personal hygiene as a king, right? I washed my hands and noticed that some subject refused to flush the toilet after they're done using the bathroom. I did not use the bathroom. I went to wash my hands. All right, I come out for the slightest second. And now my croissant was missing. Do you know how upset I was during that time? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll tell you who took your croissant. King Joshua. I feel like I'm not starting to trust you. I'm not buying it. King Joshua, I'm very disappointed in a lot of people in this kingdom. King Joshua, I am really disappointed. I am really disappointed in a lot, at a lot of people right now. I feel like there's a whole system working against me, 
And I need you to fess up right now, King Joshua. Otherwise, I will be very angry. Why do you assume that I'm not your friend? Why do you assume that I'm not your friend? Because if you were in my situation right now, you would ask the same exact question. I'm telling you, why are you not trusting me? I, I, I left because I had a lot, I had a lot of work to attend to. to get me another croissant. There's been two notifications, the technology is not updated, and I am stressed, even though we captured Tinko Bunny. Why can't you at least tell me of anything that you see on around this game? as confused as you are. as you are and 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 you and I'm right to be mad about it too. That's the other problem I was talking about, Fred. Why weren't you so concerned about Tinkle Bunny's potential cousin? Is it because you're trying to hide something from me? Is it because there's something that I need to know about. I need you to stop playing games right now, King Joshua. Because Kingdom Napoli and Kingdom Zuckerman are at stake. So I need you to stop with the nonsense. And tell me what you know. Oh, uh, I don't have to listen to this. I knew there was something about you, King Joshua. I can put a word on it. After all these years of us working together, you see your friend in stress and worrisome, worrying about the fate of both kingdoms, worrying about the fate of our own dignity as kings. And now you want to walk away. You are a coward. What did you just say? How can you say such a thing like that? How can you say Keep it on, remember the first time we met? We were playing God and all that stuff? And and we met and we met at a beautiful land, remember? And that uh, and that uh, we remember we were talking about each uh, each other of our caves and we we raised the ball to 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 think and remember Kate Bernard well, we enemies. We're not supposed to be enemies, King Bernard. That yeah, just reminds me, right? We were never friends. Never were we ever friends. And you bring up that time back in Italy, right? When I beat you, and you beat me, and we... That is not a time of friendship, King Joshua. That is a time of fight. And even though we did get our we did get our um, our kingdoms together, when were we ever on the same wavelength, King Joshua? When did that ever happen? When did you ever take into consideration how much I have to manage a King Napoli? I have tried to make sure that I handle King Zeklin all the time. What, 
when were we ever in friendship, King Joshua? When? Remember that we were, we were, we were friends. We're not supposed to be enemies. We were friends. Remember the first time we met at, at Italy? That we played golf? You made me lose and, and you know how sad I was? You know how sad I was? I was really sad and angry. To you, King, King Bernard, what have I ever done to you? I've been being nice to you since years. And I've always tried to save King Napoli and King Zachmus, even Miss Witchman's family. I mean, Miss Witchman was on our side. Which Miss Witchman was never on our side. Remember? She was an enemy in this kingdom before she became an ally. As a matter of fact, I remember her coming to my place, right? Where I was staying at. Talking about Benai, King Benai. You've always been our friend. She's never been our friend until we grinded diamonds. How can we ever be friends with Freeriders when we've been trying to be kings ever since we were out of the Phoenix? You see, this is the thing, King Joshua. You cannot trust people like that! So you see why I'm very upset right now, King Joshua? We just arrested Tinkle Bunny. I am unhappy with the current situation in Kingdom Napoli, let alone all the other kingdoms. The Kingdom Nap Zuckerland. King Joshua, I don't want to seem like a bad person. I only want to be good. But as a friend, more than just a king, I have tried very hard. I'm always trying very hard to make sure both kingdoms are working properly. So I need you to please go and give me my space while I sort things out. Because this is not how we are supposed to behave. And I am sorry if there's any, any mishaps that I've been showing I just wanted to drink so that I can actually celebrate. But yesterday was one of the worst hangovers I have ever had as a king. <laughs> king of Napoli and King of Zachary. You're separated, but that's not all I'm going to say, King Bernard. What I'm always going to say next is that Kingdom Napoli is such a sweet spot. Kingdom Napoli is trash. How dare you say a thing like that? You know Kingdom Zachary will not be where it is because of me. How dare you say the greatest kingdom on earth, Kingdom Napoli, is trash. Kingdom Zachary is trash. And since you don't like this kingdom so much, get out of my sight. Don't come back until you come back with our common enemy, enemy Tinkle Bunny, and whoever else is our enemy. Worthless filth. Get out of my sight. You're not my friend. Bah!
Bunny. I will find you. This condition, no one can see me right now. Tinko Bunny! Tinko Bunny! Tinko Bunny! Kingdom Zeppelin is trash! And since you don't like this kingdom so much, get out of my sight! Don't come back until you come back with our common enemy, enemy Tinkle Bunny, and whoever else is our enemy. What was Phil? Get out of my sight! You're not my friend! No. No! Tinko Bunny. Tinko Bunny! <laughs> Who are you looking at? Go get your food. Did you just look at me? King Bernard, you okay? Where's my squire? He went to Rome, your highness. So he's at Rome? Yeah. He left the notes saying that he needed to take a break, your highness. Would you like to be one of my squires? I would love to. I would absolutely love to, your highness. You are aware that the pay is only $10 a month. You know, King Bernard, you know, I would love to be your squire for any amount of pay. You are the king of Napoli. I would love to be your squire, King Bernard. Someone needs you 
to do it for more than just the money. Are you willing to be my squire to help me out throughout this stress of being a king? Of course, Your Highness. I do notice that King you and King Joshua's relationship is a bit tense right now. And I would love to make sure that anything that you, that my highness needs in terms of um, kingdom maintenance as well as kingdom notifications and anything that I need to do to qualify as your squad, I'll make sure I do it, your highness. I'll have your papers ready by tomorrow morning where you'll sign and stuff. Something you're probably used to with King Joshua. Thank you, Your Highness. right now, you would ask the same exact questions. No! Squire, where are you at? Squire, Squire! Squire, Squire, where are you at? Squire, Squire, where are you at? Zuckerland. King Joshua, I don't want to seem like a bad person. I only want to be good. But as a friend, more than just a king, I have tried very hard. I mean, I'm always trying very hard to make sure both kingdoms are working properly. I can't. I heard my friend King and I. I have to go apologize to him.
Tinkle Bunny! What is it that you want with this kingdom? Kingdom Napoli and Kingdom Zeckle. Kingdom Napoli is one of the greatest, if not the greatest kingdom in the world. So if you want to fight Tinkle Bunny EXE, bring it. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Why is it that? What am I doing? We captured Tinkle Bunny. There is rumors on my notifications that there is another enemy, Tinkle Bunny EXE. We have not captured. I don't know what to do. I really don't. I don't know what to do at this point. Come on. I know what to do. I'm going to find Tinker by the EXC and I'm going to destroy him. Or maybe I should let King Pathetic Joshua handle that. Since he's all strong and mighty with Kingdom Supplement. Like, is there not at least one happy event going on today? Why is it that the Kingdom is so silent during this time? I mean, at least then I would not be so upset about Tinkle Bunny and Tinkle Bunny EXC. What events are going on? I need to search my computer. Now that is really upsetting. Huh. What to do? Wait a second. I'm the king of Napoli. I could just create an event myself. I could have been happy by yesterday. When did I think of this idea earlier? <laughs> King Bernard, you're a genius. What's the what should the idea be called though? Is the question. Should I call the royal fool for this answer? What should this event be called? I'm not so sure. The King's Banquet? No. The Banquet? No, no, too basic. The Royal King's Banquet! That might be lost. The Royal King's Banquet featuring the King himself! Yes, as they'll call it, El Batanto Real Con Eresteso, the royal banquet featuring the king himself. Now I'm happy. Oh, oh now I see. Oh, yeah, I've been stressing. Who is it that sh is ringing right now? Who is ringing the doorbell right now? Who is it? Oh, Queen Snow, someone that can tell them. Hi. Queen Snow, you're pregnant? Yes. Yeah. Really? Congratulations, Queen Snow. Thank you. I'm glad you came right now. I'm in a very happy mood, and I'm here to invite you to the Royal Banquet featuring the King himself. Ooh, can I fight King Joshua?
Sure. Yeah, you can invite King Joshua. In fact, he will be the second person I invite. Queen Snow, you're a genius. I'll invite King Joshua right now. All right, see ya. King Joshua? I'm sorry. No, that's not what I'm gonna say. You're gonna be like, King Joshua? I forgive you, and I forgive myself. And I'm very sorry for the way I've acted. I only wanted to improve our relationship. That is something I should tell King Joshua. The moment I see him at the party, that is what I will tell him. Precise. That is what I'll tell him for sure. Yes. Oh, it feels wonderful to be a king at this time. I feel like I even gained some of my own dignity. I must choose an outfit. Right now, yes! Hello, fellow citizens. How's it going today? What is Blue Tarnation? Go Antonio, go Antonio. Uh-oh, get out of here. I'll show you something to dance with. Ooh. And if you tie him to come around this kingdom again, I guarantee it, you will be in trouble! Do you understand? Rubbish, citizen. Well, I'm happy I said that to you. That actually made me more happy about tonight! King Joshua. I'll even get more people to come to this wonderful event that I just orchestrated just now. It all okay. Hmm. Why is King Joshua not picking up? Maybe he's still mad at me. I must keep calm. I hope King Joshua's alright. He's probably going to look at him Why is King Joshua not picking up? I'll leave a voicemail. King Joshua, I just wanted to say, I forgive my, I mean, I forgive you, King Joshua, and I forgive myself. And I'm sorry for any mishaps that I caused at the moment. I just wanted to improve our relationship. I hope you receive this message. King Johnson's not responding. Where the heck is he at? I mean, what could be so concerning that he cannot answer this phone call right now?
Okay. Um. King Josh was not responding. First, I'm gonna need to contact General Morris. Sir, or sir slash ma'am, do not answer this oh, phone call. We have good intelligence, but it might be someone you don't want to talk to. <laughs> sir, sir, don't answer the phone. King Bernard. Sir, do not answer the phone. Hello? General Morris? Yes. Hello, your highness. Um... Could you please do me a favor? Um, what kind of favor exactly? Could you please contact um, King Joshua's kingdom, Kingdom Zuckerlin? Maybe pay that kingdom a visit. Make sure there's nothing fishy going go around. And if there is, please return back to Kingdom Napoli and send the message. All right? So what you're going to do is go into Kingdom Zuckerlin. If there's any fishy things going around, come back to Kingdom Napoli ASAP. All right, this is crucial. Okay, King Bernard. I'll make sure that the mission is complete, your highness. And I guarantee it. Search, search the areas. Check the kitchen. All right. Um, stay on the kitchen floor. I'll check upstairs. All right. Yes, sir. Watch uh, out. Check downstairs. We need to make sure it's clear. Look for any intel. Nothing spotted around here. Check your eight. I'll check your six. All right, try to try slightly. Look for any other item evidence. Keep looking. Look around. Okay, time to invite more guests. Plus, I must know who I'm inviting. Okay. Um, King Joshua. Yeah. What we find out? Um, Queen Snow, of course. Oh, what a wonderful sunshine. And I hope that she has a safe home and good with carriage with her baby. Um, Leroy joins, Leroy Jones and his friends. It's crack. My name is Leroy Jones. This water right here, it tastes refreshing. Um, uh, oil <laughs> Oh, 
Nature is wonderful. people on the on this event on the king of napoli hmm let me think who should i invite oh i should invite band players i should invite music musical artists as well that's who i should invite hmm yeah i'll write that down okay all right now that i got that down i think this set is complete I'm ready to have a great party. But first I must meet up with Queen Alice to talk about nature. Now it's time to find Queen Alice. Queen Alice? Queen Alice, where are you at? Let's have this conversation on nature. Hmm. Maybe Queen Alice is in her room. Let's check. Oh. Queen Alice is King Bernard. You want to have a conversation on nature? Queen Alice? Hmm. Where can Queen Alice be at? Aha! She's probably at her plants. Maybe doing some plant and gardening work. So I should probably call her with videos. Yes, I should have a video call with her on the computer. Now, where would be a good venue to do that? Maybe I should do that around here to make sure that I have a good venue place because in my room, there won't be enough plants and gardening. I'll probably have to call Squire to do that. Let's see. Where would be a good place to record? Not there. Um, aha! Maybe I'll use this as a background since it's green, and I can pretend that it's leaves. Correct. And I'll probably use here to sit. But who will do that job for me? Hey, Squire! Yes, Your Highness? First, I wanted to say thank you with the new computer updates. The reason I called you is, could you please move the computer desk so I can go on my video call with Queen Alice on nature. All right, so I have these pillow things that look green so they qualify as nature. Huh. I also have these elegant flowers that, that look really realistic. So this should be a very interesting and good conversation. All right, time to call Queen Snow. Call Queen. Could it be? King Bernard, your highness, how are you doing today? Hello, Queen Alice. How are you doing today on this wonderful day, afternoon? Doing pretty good, and yourself? I'm doing pretty great, and I'm ready to have this wonderful conversation on nature. Yeah, so let's continue our conversation. But before we continue, please, I would like to have your honest opinion on these flowers that I have. Um, do they look realistic? Are they natural? I was wondering. They look pretty darn natural, if you ask me. Nice. Nice flowers, King Bernard. Thank you for the wonderful compliment, Queen Alice. 
I must say, you are really good at what you do, Your Majesty. Of course, I know great flowers when I see them, Your Highness. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I need to get the lamp. Just one moment, Queen Alice. Here. Okay, so back to what you were saying, Queen Alice, about plants and vegetables. No, I mean just plants. It depends on the outlook and the naturality of the plant itself. Where it stems from, where the roots are. It can be the most intrinsic item. It can also be one of the most complicated plants that you can find that are edible. It pretty much just depends on the aspects or the variables as the Okay, interesting. Please proceed, Your Majesty. Alright, quick question. What do you think would be good for eating as a plant? Would be, would be good for eating would be something like... I think... I think a rose looks pretty edible. Because the rose is so delicate and very beautiful. And I just feel like... I feel like there would have to be some proof that... Roses and in general, maybe even blue flowers can also be can also be edible as well. So the very interesting thing about that statement is that roses are actually edible through this process called applying imaginary sauce to it. It makes the rose look delicate and the rose extremely edible. Hmm. Very interesting. So you say that if you apply the rose to imaginary sauce, that you would have a very edible plant. Now that sounds very interesting, come to think of it. Funny enough, I was actually thinking the same exact thing too. You know, it makes sense considering that imaginary sauce tastes good with pretty much anything. Well, now that we've answered that question, we will need to answer another question. If roses are edible with imaginary sauce, what else could it possibly be edible with to expand the realm of possibilities to edible plants in general? I don't really know, please tell me. But if I were to take a guess as to what else would have to be added to make rose an edible flavor, I think I would have to say Maybe ranch, maybe complimentary like mayonnaise, or also salad and lettuce, right? That also qualifies as plants. So I think rolls and, and lettuce with mayo and ranch, I think that would make roses taste very edible, as well as blue flowers as well. Funny enough, um, that was pretty close, but... What I was looking for, what I'm looking for is that, theoretically speaking, we need seeds, of course, because we can grow the seeds, and from there we can manipulate the seeds to get edible ideas, edible flavors. So I would have to say the rustic seed to apply to maybe the blueberry flower or the blue flower, as well as the rose, because the rustic seed adds cooking oil um, in particularly to the permutations of the rose. So I would also have to say, you know, almond, almond juice, actually. What you do is you get a pair of almonds and then you have to crush them in a certain type of way to make sure that the almond gets the juice sapped out of it and therefore provides an edible flavor to the rose. That is very interesting. I must put that. I have to get the... <laughs> Sorry, I have to get the the cook for the kingdom to add those ingredients because I think we're going to make such edible plants. Thank you so much for this information, um, Queen Alice. So, 
Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about Forrest, the Forrest. How is the Forrest doing, Queen Alice, your majesty? Oh, the Forrest is actually doing pretty well, actually. The plants are doing extremely well. The trees are intact and growing. And the species are dwelling and providing offspring in the forest. Well, that's great news. You know, it's great news because, you know, these days from, you know, let's say other countries, it seems as though, you know, they might be struggling a little bit to, to maintain their natural forest, forest, um, forest environment. And it's great to know that Kingdom Napoli is doing so well at maintaining the forest and making sure that, you know, in general, these plants are edible. Yes, of course, and these facts of a healthy, natural style and a healthy plant style is crucial to the existence of species. So I would have to ask you, King Bernard, what is your favorite kind of species? I would say... My favorite wild animal in the forest would have to be... It would have to be a cheetah! Because they move so fast, and they're so efficient at what they do. Whether it be a prey or they would be delivering a message, they move so fast. You know, cheetahs these days, how long, how fast do they move? Do they move like 75 miles per hour or something like that? Yes, yeah, so without even researching how fast a cheetah moves just by looking at a cheetah i can tell they move very fast by the extended limbs and also the way of direction you see species or aka animals also kind of move the way humans do except humans move more intelligently as to they can stand up and move around whereas like, let's say, for instance, cheetahs. Cheetahs have the ability to just lunge and move very fast and use the tippy toes of their limbs, therefore enhancing their ability to move fast. Ah, wonderful. Wonderful information, Your Majesty. Um, Your Majesty, um, I would like to say thank you so much for maintaining our force and that you're still maintaining the force. It really means a lot. I hope I'll see you today at the, tonight at the party, Queen Alice. Your talk on, on force and natural entities would really be so interesting to bring to the party, your majesty. I wish I could come to the party, but unfortunately I have a natural selection event to go to which is really important because i can distribute the nature to this event about kingdom napoli and get more revenue for the kingdom but however as queen i really admire your generosity and have decided to make sure that there can be a band playing at tonight's event your highness Great, and I hope all is well. All right, have fun at the party. Wear something nice. Oh, you should wear that. Um, you should wear that black coat. No tie, right? Just a white shirt. Your crown, of course, your highness. And then you should wear some really nice dress shoes. It would be a very good alternate version to King Bernard. So I was just talking like. Why do kids these days wear these types of hats, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, would you like some? No, thank you. I'm pregnant. Right. Hmm. So tell me about King, um, Kingdom Napoli, Kingdom Zeppelin. Oh, they're doing fine. It's just that, uh, Kingdom Zeppelin is very good and it's making sure that we have some food. And Kingdom Napoli is very good. Oh, my land? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have a land. I'm 
just a cool kid of Napa, you know what I'm saying? So you but, live at Napa? Yeah. Okay. Keanu is one of my coolest friends. Keanu are cool. Yeah, he's awesome. So are you guys next to each other? Are you guys? No, 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 no. He's not like to me, I'm like one of Keith Bernard's homies, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so you live in the woods? No, no, I don't live in the woods. Like, I live with my, uh, my, uh, I say, I'm sorry. <clears throat> that, that sentence is a little bit too strong. Um, I live with my grandma. Oh. What's her yeah, name? She's wonderful. Her name is, uh, her name is, Her name is Marianne. Oh, Marianne. I know, right? What a wonderful name. So let me tell you about So let me tell you something about Marianne, right? My grandma. Back in the day, she used to be one of the coolest people ever. You know what I'm saying? Everybody liked her. She used to be a popular kid. You know what I'm saying? Uh, is she a grandma and a grandma? Yeah, she's still really cool. She's like 79. It's still really cool. Wow. Yeah, she can run, she can jump and jacks. It's crazy, right? Yeah. You need another shot? Um, no, no more, Squire, you know what I'm saying? This is like my, uh, my, my second shot, and I feel ready, I feel ready, you know, lightheaded, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Welcome to the party.
Coming next to the stage is Royal Fool. Oh no, not the Royal Fool. Squire, could you get me four shots? I don't think I can watch this without getting four shots, at least. I mean, just look at him. Oh, McDonald's had a box. E -I -E -I -U. Why are where's my four shots at? Oh my gosh. It can't get any worse, can it? King Bernard! King Bernard! King Bernard! I found King Joshua! Everyone stop! What seems to be the problem, General Morris? Tinker Bunny EXE is in Kingdom Suckland right now. And we need to go stop Tinker Bunny EXE. Say what? What? Keep going then. Let's go to Kingdom Zeppelin right now, General Morris. All right, let's go. Right behind you, General Morris. Let's go. Hey, King Bernard. Hey, you a homie, you know what I'm saying? Get King Joshua, all right? Do it for the squad, King Napoli. That's all, folks. Till next time. <laughs> <laughs>
she's like put in prison Joshua, are you all right? Yes. Yeah. Your Highness. Yeah. I hope I'm not. I'm Look not, at Tico Bunny EXE. Oh, Tico Bunny is so mean. Yes. Tico Bunny EXE. Okay, Joshua. All enemies are eliminated, and both kingdoms. Are free of any enemies or any threats right now. Okay. Let's go downstairs. King Bernard is downstairs. I hope we're not too big for the for the earthquake. Which takes us to uh King Of course not. Alright. Alright, I'm heading back to Kingdom Napoli. King Bernard is uh over there. King Joshua! Come here, buddy. Oh, King Joshua, are you all right? Yes. What happened? I got captured by, by Chico Buddy's evil cousin. Here, sit. You all right? Yes. Was it Chico Buddy EXE? Yes. 
That is crazy. Yes. Mama Mia. But that's good that that Joe Boris has on him. Right now he's just. I'm very proud of General Boris. Joshua, I just wanted to say for anything I said, I'm sorry. I really am sorry. I only want us to have a great relationship as friends. You know, being kings and all, it could be a little bit stressful. And anything that I said and you said, I forgive all of that. And I value it. Over any dispute over who's stronger. We're both strong in our own rights, don't you think? Sure, your production on mac and cheese, they're hard workers, so they'll be able to come. 